So get your paints ready, get organized, and just put your primary colors on red, yellow, and blue. And if you got any burnt umber or black or brown, a green if you want to want to make your own, sap green, white. And that's, you know, keep your palette limited so you don't have to get confused with all the colors. You can make your own colors. And But if you have certain colors that you love, go ahead and use them. Some of your favorite brushes. Um, a fan brush is great for doing waterfalls. You can use a flat brush too if you like. I got bristle and synthetic brushes, some different sizes, and a liner brush. So make sure you got some nice brushes handy. So today I'd like to show you how to add a fence post and a bucket to your painting. Um, this is a painting that we did. We first did the clouds, the big puffy clouds in the sky. And then I did a video on how to add your realistic grass. Okay, and I did a whole bottom part here. So now I'd like to show you how to add some nice subjects to your painting. And today I'm going to show you how to add a nice fence post. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my burnt sienna. So my brush is damp and I'm just using a filbert Okay, and then I'm going to add a little bit of uh, blue on the other side, okay? So what I'm doing is I'm separating the colors. And then I'm going to add some white. Okay, so I got the bur uh, burnt sienna on one side, blue and white on the other, and then burnt sienna side down. I am going to, my brush will do the work for me. So I'm going to decide where I want it to end and where I want it to begin. Maybe here, maybe here, let's try that. All right, so I'm gonna to touch and I'm gonna pull down. And see the brush does the work for me, see? See how you're getting the highlights? Now you can add more paint again, all right, and Go back over to make it more because it's right now is transparent. So you can wait for it to dry or you can add a second coat. And when that dries, then you can add another coat. So blue, burnt sienna on one side of your brush, blue on the other side, and brown. Burnt sienna is brown, beautiful brown, and I love it. It's it's my favorite, favorite color in the whole world. <laughs> so with the brown side down, touch. So it really needs to dry. Because right now it's a little transparent, but that's okay. While we're waiting for that to dry, we'll, we'll put a bucket there. Right. Draw the bucket out. As you can see, I did it first, so I make sure I had it done right. So you kind of make a straight line here, and then you go around, and then you make like a smile. Okay, smiley face right there, like that. And then all you have to do then is add your sides straight down, straight down, and bring it around a little bit of a, we'll call it a little bit of a smile, just to make it kind of round, okay? So it won't be fully straight and then we'll fill that in with paint. I'm just using my pencil and you can use chalk, you can use whatever you want and as you can see my pencil is kind of short. See how short it is? So if I was holding my hand it'd be uncomfortable because it wouldn't be totally up in my hand. So what I did was I bought these pencil extenders okay and they are great from if you're drawing, great for artists who like to draw and I have these on my Amazon shop. These are well worth buying because you can save money on pencils. I mean, you can go really, really short on that one. So I love those. So let's paint the bucket. Let's see, let's see. So I'm going to use a little bit of blue. Nice messy palette here. <laughs> and a little bit of black. And I'm gonna water that down a little bit the bucket there and I'm gonna add a little bit of white brighten it up a little bit 
See, I got a little bit of black and it kind of makes that blue more grayish blue. And then I'm just gonna fill that in here. I'm gonna leave that trim for now. Okay, that's a nice color for tin, right? So I'm going to add some more white to my brush to lighten up some of this. Move it over to transition into the to the boat to the bucket. You can also draw a handle on your bucket. You could do it anytime you're ready. So we will go from probably here to here. Okay, just a little old handle. No particular way, it depends on what you want there. And I'm going to add some more blue and a little bit of black, a little bit of burnt sienna. Love playing with my colors. Make a shadow over here. Let's see, we'll just nice. I'm going to trim up this edge here with the dark color. Make it nice and dark. I want to add more black so I can really get that nice and dark here on this trim here, on this edge. Just use a small, flat, or round brush. All right. And then we're gonna burn burnt sienna, which your black is good too. All right. Now, if you're having a hard time getting down, just tap it on. Tap a little bit on there. Get it on whatever way you can. Okay, now. Let's see what else we can do with that. Let's take some, some of that black and burnt sienna. Just put it on your brush, black and burnt sienna, and let's bring some of this over here. This little edge over here. little shadow in there. So the shadow, I will add blue and white. Get that grayish color. Some of that blue. Because my brush was dirty, so I had a little bit of black on there, so I just wanted to. Okay, and then I'm going to clean off my brush and get a bit of white. And then I'm going to add a little bit of light color over here. I'm going to bring it over just to smooth it out. A little bit of a highlight on the edge of that one. The highlights is what brings it out nice, isn't it? little bit of light color in there just so I can see if I can 
I'm going to clean off my brush and clean that up a little bit there. Yeah, you wouldn't think a little bucket would be take so much work, would you? <laughs> but this is the thing. It takes work to get the results that you're looking for. I'm going to add um, some burnt sienna with... Um, and make some rust. So I'm going to add a little bit of water to my brush and I'm going to add some burnt sienna. And I'm just going, you might want to let it dry first, okay? Because then you can put a little bit of rust on it. So I would suggest let it dry first and then add your rust because see how it's mixing in with the colors. You don't want, you don't really want that, right? You want the rusty look. You want a little bit of a rusty look. It's a rusty old can. And as for the post, we will add So I'm gonna add some uh, burnt sienna, a bit of white on that faux fence post. <laughs> it's a nice color, look at that. See how nice that burnt sienna is? Nice, isn't it? liner brush or maybe I'll take a flat brush like I said I'm trying to experiment just having some fun so burnt sienna and some white I'm just going to take the, the brush and I'm going to start from the top and start pull see how I'm getting because I'm using the chisel edge of my brush and some white and with the burnt sienna I can get these crevices and kinds of little things going on there. Isn't that nice? Look at that. So put some burnt sienna on one side and white on the other. Now you can also add a little bit of black, a bit of burnt sienna, a little bit of white. So we're only working with a couple of colors as you can see. I got some yellow picked up there by accident, but I like it. I like that. I might add a little bit of black by itself. Like I said, I'm experimenting. Yeah, that looks good. Oops. <laughs> I went too high. Well, I'll just go and add it all there. Yeah, that's nice. Using the chiseled edge of my brush, see? Now that see it's giving it get more texture, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use some white. And we're going to our, my brush is fairly dirty. It's gonna add some highland edge here. Hey, and the back stays nice and dark. And we got a nice edge here. 
keep that dark on the back there. Black and burnt sienna, and that'll make that one there a little bit higher. Black, burnt sienna, keep it dark on the back here. Let's keep it dark. Use the chisel edge your brush to get to get uh, everything in place. It's a nice old post, isn't it? It's just crooked and everything, isn't that cool? Just by fooling around and not fooling around, I suppose, because we're trying to learn. You know, maybe even. Here's a little piece coming off it here. So I get carried away, right? And all I want to do is keep going. <laughs> That's okay. The bucket looks cute. We got some nice going on there. You could even take a liner brush that you're going to use for your grass and put some black on it and burnt sienna. Just put on some burnt sienna and black and make some, uh, some of these little holes. Give it a more realistic look. Isn't that cool? Look at that. That's kind of nice, isn't it? And now you can use the same brush to make some grass. And you can go run through your yellow and run through your white. A little bit of blue if you want to green it up a little bit. Then you can add some grass to the bottom of that. Make sure you use lots of white in order to bring it out. So you can see it. And water. Make sure you got water because acrylics are hard to, they don't like to let you enjoy what you try to do. <laughs> oh. Supposed to be um, very thin lines of grass. All right, darken those up a little bit so you can see them. That's better. That's better. Using burnt sienna just to get them, so you can see them. Because before it was just everything was just blended in together. So let's just do this. So many ways to do things. See, that's what I did. I'm what I'm doing. I'm experimenting. To see what I can get and what it look like. Sometimes it works out, and sometimes it don't. You know, that's much better. Now you can see them. Add water if it don't move, okay? Add water to your brush. Look, it's almost dripping, see? Now it drips, just tap it off a little bit in your, in your tissue and then you can continue on. That looks better. So you can add whatever you want to these paintings. I did it in stages because you can add your own subjects, animals, grass, whatever you want to do. And, or you can do all three of these, all three of these um, painting tutorials to make one painting. Or you can take the sky and add your own bottom. Okay, so if you go into the sky video and you get the sky done, 
then you can add your own on the bottom. You don't have to go by this one. But if you like what I did on my second video, then with the grass and the stylus, then you can put your grass and stylus in. You don't even have to add water. You can have the whole bottom of grass, and then you can add some flowers, and then you got your little hills and your grass, and that'll be in the second video. If you want to add more things like the post and, and like the bucket, then you can also uh, do that too. You can go to the third video, which is the one you're looking at now, and... Uh, Put it all together and make, make a painting out of it. Now I'm going to add some yellow to brighten that up. Yeah, so, so that's why I thought it'd be fun for you to, to choose one of the videos or two of the videos and put together a painting or your own painting or whatever you want to do. And I'm going to add a bit of white to that too. So I'm just going into my white. So, see how it brings it out more. So with the, with the darker background, you can, now you can see, right? Before we were trying to put the grass over a light background. So now we can actually see the grass. So that's much better, okay? That is so much better. And then the white really brings it out. So, and you can add some more flowers. We can also add a barbed wire if you want. So we'll just add burnt sienna and black. So I want to make some barbed wire and it got to be really thin. That's kind of thick there, but I'm going to take that and we're going to have it on just hanging down on this side because the fence is really old. And then you're just going to take it. So I want to make some barbed wire and it got to be really thin. That's kind of thick there, but I'm going to take that and we're going to have it on just hanging down on this side because the fence is really old and then you're just going to take it yeah just draw it first so that you can get an idea of you know so maybe just a little fence over here too maybe i should put another one there and then we can line it up that would be nice wouldn't it so all you need to do is draw your line let's put a little fence here post i should say fence post and we will then we'll be able to join them up and that look much better so do the same thing burnt sienna on one side some black blue and white Okay, so all the colors are on your brush so that you can. So let's do a, maybe a, a shorter one over here. Touch and pull. That's nice. That's nice. Don't have to be the same size. Maybe it's... You know, so we let that dry out a little bit. Turn my brush to the side so I can get a nice top on that. And experiment with your brush. Put some white on it, okay? And on, on the dark side, pull down with the white. See, so then you can get some of the white highlights there. Nice. And then you can flip it around and bring up some of these shapes. See? And then you get that nice top. So you can play around with it. That's what we're doing today. We're experimenting to see what we can get. All right. Yeah, that's nice. Get some of this on the side here. And then we'll fill that in with some burnt sienna again. So you just go back and forth with your colors. But we're keeping the right side light. Nice. And then I'm going to take some black. My brush is really dirty, so that's good because you get all these colors in it. 
get that dark side. Okay. Just going to pull up an extra one down there because I made a little bit too fat. See how you can manipulate it? See that? Adding the really dark on this side here. Good. And then I'm going to add a few little creases in here. I'll do that with my liner brush so I can get those nice, really nice crevices and things there. So I'll use uh, my black. And I'm just going to add some darks in here. See how nice and thin lines are? And then on top of that, I'll put my white highlights. Okay, my brush is dirty. I'm just going to go through my white, pick up some white. And then I'll be able to get some of these later. Nice, isn't it? A little tedious, but you know, it's all learning. It's all learning, experimenting, see what, what will work, what won't work. It's nice. I'm going to add a bit of burnt sienna. I love burnt sienna, just gives us such a, a different look all together, doesn't it? Just look at that. Sienna. If you don't have any burnt sienna, if you can buy it, that'd be great. If you can't, add some yellow and red to your brown, to your dark brown. See what that turns out like. Just add different amounts and then you should be able to get close to burnt sienna then. That's nice. Add a little more white on my dirty brush. And then I'm going to Add a bit of black, my dirty brush, and add a few little holes. See? Nice. Now we got two. So I'm going to take black. Now I drew my, trying to draw my, let's go right over. That's still wet, so I'm kind of wait for that to dry a little. I'm just going to let that one hang down. And then you, you kind of squiggle around it. So you're going to make two lines, very thin lines. My brush makes them thick. So you're going to make sure that your lines are nice and thin. Do my best. I'm going to wet my brush, put it in my black. And so all I'm doing is I wet my brush, I run it through my black like that, right? Just running it through like that. So I gotta get as thin a line. See now you can do it on here and you can see that your line might be a bit thick. So we gotta try and figure out how we can get that nice and thin. I, I need a really thin brush. That's not bad. Let's try that. So make sure you get the smallest brush you can find and let's see what happens. Very, very lightly. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna wipe off some of that water. It's making it too thick. No, I can't get it. Try again. Wiping off some of the paint and the water. That's a bit better. That's better. And then I'm just gonna crisscross. there as you know barbed wire is really thin right you know so I don't want it to be too thick and then what we'll do is we will we'll put two little lines 
like this. Oh. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. So make them nice and small. I'll clean that up for you because I don't want you to think that that's okay because really you want to make it look realistic you don't want it to be ugly cool that's a funny looking funny looking thing isn't it so I will add more grass down here. So I'm gonna use my burnt sienna to get it started. And then, you wanna be able to see it. Add a bit of water so it'll move. And then you can add your yellows and whites over it. So clean off your brush a bit so you can get to the nice light colors. See, that's better. But because you need a dark background to bring those out. Good, good, good. <clears throat> and get out your magic brush. See how they all open like that? They're in my, um, I call them magic brush, but they're a chip brush. You can get them in my Amazon shop. All the materials I use, you can get in my Amazon shop. So I'm gonna use red and white like that. I just tapped in to get down to, just to add a few little flowers on tops of those, make it look like just flowers there, see? So I'm just gonna add a little bit of burnt sienna and white and I'm gonna add that to the edge here just in case the sun is shining back there. <laughs> nice. There we go. So, If you mess something up and you really don't like it, you can take it out with the background color. So whatever the background color is, just take it out with that. See? See? I wanna get that nice and skinny. So I'm just gonna add a bit of white and yellow and just see if I can get rid of it that way. Brings it down a bit better. See, it just kind of faded in with the background there, and then you can get rid of it. So, if you make mistakes and you really don't like them, just remember you can get them fixed. fix them up. That's a weird looking barbed wire fence, isn't it? <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. Try not to worry too much. You want to lighten these up a little bit? You just add a little bit of weight on top of what you just did. Just trying to show you some little things that you can do in your paintings. I always like a bit of white on top of things, you know, the, like a final, let's say a final touch on your paintings. If you add white, 
your final touch. It really, really adds a lot to your paintings. So on the bottom here, I'm just going to dab on a little bit of grass. Just use flat brush, anything at all that you have there. And uh, a bit of yellow burnt sienna. Just kind of dab on a little bit of grass there like that. Just sort of bring it all together, that's all. There we go. Good. A little bit of burnt sienna. Yellow. Tapping it on here like this. Oh, that's a loud motorcycle. Alright, we'll add it here just so that we can try to make it look like it's all in one, you know? So, oops. Ah! Get out of there. Get out of there. You know, maybe a little bit of shadow color down here. It's nice to be able to just add things before and after. So I like adding some shadows and things, just as sort of, as you can see, kind of gives it that little extra punch, right? Doesn't it? A little extra punch. A few little dabs of highlights. A little dab here, a little dab there, right? Just kind of adding little bits of lighter color on top of that shadows I made just to give it like I say the more you layer your paint with different colors uh, within the same colors you know you wouldn't want to add too much of a, a green if you're using yellows and things but it's nice to uh, add different colors and I like that that flower that we made earlier I'm just trying to get a small round brush and Let's see if I can make another daisy. So I got a small round brush with white on it. And I'm just gonna see if I can make one of those, make letter X. You know, tell you the truth, your brushes sometimes will fight you. They'll really make it hard for you, right? Sometimes there's no problem whatsoever. I'm gonna use the back of my brush. Put a little center in there, probably a little red and yellow for orange. Like I said, we already got an orange background, so we might need that a little more red, just to maybe even a little bit of burnt sienna. And then you got that pretty flower. Spider. <laughs> Isn't that cute? How you can play around with it. You know? Natural eyes, you can add more petals. There was one right here. Kind of lost it. Just gonna paint over it. See, let's make some nice pretty flowers. By dabbing on a bit of white anymore around, I wonder. I think there was one over here somewhere. I think this was it here. See, just add white to your round brush. Add a center and throw a few little petals. That's nice. This one here. 
could get a bright white to be able to see it better. Pretty flowers. So pretty, I want to try another one right here. I'm just going to touch and pull in. A little center there. Nice. And I'm going to put my little center back in there. Some burnt sienna and red. Now, if I could just get that a little brighter here, I would be happy. And I want to add like a little, get my round brush again. I want to add a little stem, what kind of stem, yellow with a bit of green. Yellow and green, a bit of white, just to make it stand out. Let's see if we can get that to work. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, boom. Gotta have stems or something. So add a little bit of white on the edge because if the stem is a little bit too wide, you can always put something on the edge here for a highlight. Cool. And then you can also add green and you can make a little Touch and pull in towards the stem. Touch and pull in towards the stem. Okay, and then you can make those. So just play around and see what you can do. Cute. Very cute. Just a little dab of this and a little dab of that, basically, really, isn't it? Just a little dab of here, a little dab there. Little flowers here and there if you want to add more flowers to uh, sort of make them a little touch pull in, touch pull in. My brush is a bit wet, there we go. Touch pull in, touch, you can even touch and pull out. I like touching and pulling in because the brush gives it a really nice edge there. You can use a filbert for this. I'm just using a, a small round. Yep. I'll wait for that to dry a little bit. Put a little center in here. Picking up some colors, red, yellow, burnt umber, burnt sienna, I mean, burnt sienna. And my little stem. A little stem. And then a little. Nice. You can add as many flowers as you want. So I think that's it. I like it. You know, I'm kind of loose with the things that I do with paintings. I'm kind of loose. Everything's not perfect. Because I don't want to be, oh, make that exactly like that and do this exactly like that. And, you know, when I make mistakes, if you want to call them mistakes or happy accidents or whatever, I like to leave them because 
you can look at the most famous artists and you'll see their strokes are all over the place in some cases, right? It's a lot to do with color. See these little ones up here? I kind of thought they'd be nice with a couple of little white stems around them. Look, just kind of, they're supposed to be flowers, but they kind of look like not much of anything, really. So see, you can change things up a little bit, right? Little flowers. Just pull them on the bottom there, just to make it look like there might be some flowers on the edges there. That kind of looks nice, doesn't it? Yeah. See? It's just your imagination. It's just an illusion. Okay? They could be butterflies if you want to change them up a bit. Anything at all. Right? Trim that out a little bit here so you can see that bucket. Let me see a little bit better there now. Maybe add a little bit of a highlight. Not too much because I might lose that. Yeah. So adding these little tiny things really adds to your painting, okay? So I think that's it. I can't think of anything else I can do. I mean, I, I can put butterflies there. I can put uh, a dog there. You know all kinds of things but i kind of like it as it is it's cute isn't it it's different it's cute little fence posts there a little post and all kinds of goodies so you should be able to i think you probably learn a lot from these few videos i did like i did i did the clouds in one video i'll have all the links to all the everything there so you can in case you want to make a whole video if you want to make it this into a whole video uh, and you want to do the whole painting, yes, then I can uh, have it there for you. And I'll have all the links there for you. But if you just want to do one video and then add your own, uh, then you don't need to go to the other videos unless you want to just look at them to help you get some ideas. All right, so I'm going to say goodbye for now, and I'll be doing lots more videos coming up. So keep an eye out for that. Subscribe so you can get my notifications. And you can also make suggestions in the comments, what you'd like to see, what you what you'd like to learn, and what you liked about this video. So that's it. You guys have a great day, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.